we're going to talk about treatment of lameness. So there's two really key things to treatment. Using the correct treatment and trying to treat as rapidly as you possibly can. This is especially important with infectious causes of lameness, as the faster you can treat an animal, the less uh, disease there is present to spread to other animals in the flock. What we recommend is that you try and catch lame sheep within three days of seeing them lame. This is, can really help to, to minimise the spread of infection between animals in your flock. And in flocks where sheep are caught early, you do see lower levels of lameness. Research on a farm where rapid treatment was instigated into a group of animals has actually shown that this can help prevent production losses and there was actually an increased number of lambs reared per ewe put to the ram when lameness was reduced by rapid treatment. So once you've caught an animal for treatment the first thing to do is inspect the feet. Even if you know which leg is the obviously lame one it's worth actually inspecting all of the feet. So to do this if you have a look at the foot. Try to avoid trimming any horn away. Have a look at the skin between the digits, so the interdigital space. Look for any redness, redness or inflammation. And then look at the soles of the feet and the horn. If you need to, just gently clear away any of the dirt present so that you can see properly. Um, it's also worth having a feel of the foot to see if you can feel any heat or swelling. And also examining the coronary band where the skin joins the top of the hoof. The next thing to do is then to actually diagnose what the cause of lameness is. So for this it's useful to either look at the decision tree that's um, in the reducing lameness booklet um, or available online or you can also consult with your vet if you're not sure what, what your cause of lameness is. Once you've decided what the problem is, you then need to decide on the appropriate treatment. Again, you can use the decision tree for some guidance on this or consult with your vet if you're not sure. It's important to make sure that you use an appropriate product um, and that you dose correctly for the, the weight of the animal. Once you've treated, it's also useful to record the ear tag of the animal that you've treated either by making a note or using an EID reader um, and record the, the leg which you treated as well um, and make a note of what the problem actually was. So you can then use this when you go back to recheck the animal to see whether there's been an improvement or not. Another important reason for recording the identity of animals that you've treated is that you can then keep a record of which animals you may want to identify for culling um, later in the year. So again it's important to use the ear tag or an EID reader. Um, any animals that remain lame that don't respond to treatment or that you have to treat repeatedly for lameness are good to identify for culling. Another thing to consider is separating animals that need treating into another group, perhaps closer to the farm, where you can monitor them more closely. This will allow you to recheck these animals after treatment without having to gather the whole flock again. It can also mean that once they've recovered successfully, you can then return them to the flock. And if they don't recover, you can identify them as potential candidates for culling. It's important when you're treating that you treat any animal that's lame. Often the farmers are unwilling to treat heavily pregnant animals when they're lame, but actually it's, it's probably better to treat the lame rather than to leave them with a painful condition for potentially several weeks and then only treat them after lambing.